All right, people. So after a month of playing Nordics on Daily Duels, this is definitive version of Performer Nordics. You're like, what the fuck is that? So uh, uh, Nordics were suggested to be played on Daily Duels. Not sure if it was a little bit of a troll or what, but uh, you know, it, I didn't have such a terrible time. I did not have such a terrible time. Uh, at first, I tried uh, just pure Nordics. That that was too slow, didn't go too well. Then I tried PK Nordics, and that was just a whole bunch of milling, and then only you really get it uh, utilizing Thor, so that was kind of, you know, resident sleeper. Uh, then I tried performing Nordics, and then I just like, oh, I want a Pendulum some more. Let's go to Draco Pal Nordics, and that was way too much Pendulum, not enough Nordics. Back to performing Nordics. So over the months, I've been uh, working on the Nordics and this variant right here, and finally I have definitively created Performer Nordics. Yeah. Take the Perform Pal Engine, you throw in some Nordics, and uh, yeah, that's how you go. The, the deck has the ability to summon all three of them. It has you can summon Odin, Thor, and Loki. Uh, they're all good in their own ways, I guess. I mean, they could be a little bit more powerful for the effort you gotta go into them, but hey, I mean, the cards from what, back in 2009, 2010, so meh, meh. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get into the deck profile. So, I'll put the Perform Pal half. Of course, we got our one Scroll Crabat Joker and our one Monkey Board, Saki Saki, Searchy Searchy, Pendulum Scale Setup. Nice. Uh, I decided to go ahead and run two Rubber Mutton because uh, I needed some more lower scales. Uh, you can see our, our upper scales are definitely going to be like Guitar Turtle and Lizard Draw with Pendulum Scale 6. Our lower scales are going to be Sorcerer if need be in Pendulum Scale. And then uh, Monkey Board will be a one if there's another Performer Pile in the Pendulum Scale, which it should be. And then. Uh, to Rubber Mutton. Rubber Mutton actually has a decent effect as well, that once per turn when an attack is declared involving a monster you control an opponent's monster, you can activate the effect that monster you control cannot be destroyed by that battle. So, uh, you know, if I'm trying to uh, take it a little bit slow with my Nordics, I can just go ahead and be like, Mutton, go ahead and uh, block that attack. So it's pretty good. Of course, 3 Sorcerer, Pendulum Summon, Pop 2, Search 2, so good. Uh, Guitar Turtle, 3, and the reason why I'm going 3 and 3 is because where we don't have a lot of room to run into the other fish yet, I wanted to make sure I get my pendulum scales. Plus, you guys, they draw. I mean, it's so good, you know? Uh, when another performer power is activated while you have this in pendulum scale, draw a card. Guitar title, so good. And then you can go ahead and pop lizard draw to draw a card. And then when you pendulum summon that lizard draw, especially with, uh, works really well with, uh, uh, this horse guy, the, the gold faxy? Gold, gold fax? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna butcher these, these, uh, Nordish words. Uh, you know, just one of him, and then two of these are in the extract after you, pe you popped it itself and drew. There you go, there's a, there's a Thor right there, so, uh, pretty powerful, pretty powerful, I must say. Uh, so there you go, there is the, the, the Performer Pile Engine. It's a lot, no, uh, but it's there, you know, if you can Pendulum Summon, it's nice, they get you pluses, uh, more re resources for your Synchro Summons, of course, and they'll go back to Extra Deck, so that was the whole plan. Uh, the Rune Run 3 of the Synchro Horse. Uh, you'll probably never get his effect off. Your opponent controls a synchro monster and you control no other monsters you pass on this card from your hand. Meh. I can start summoning from my hand by pendulum summoning. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it's probably one of your more go-to tuners, especially since this is level 4. You got a handful of level 3s, especially your other Nordic Beast and your, uh, your Lizard Draw. So, uh, yeah. Uh, then you ran three of your Tang... J Tang Joster, I think that's how you say it? Mm. Uh... When a monster destroyed by battle, you go and send a great rash special summon it, and you can change this card from, uh, from this card to defense position, from attack position, to special summoning a Nordic beast uh, monster from your deck to hit up on the field. So that's nice. You can just go ahead and summon this, and if you if you have another three, then you can go into it. If not, then there's a sync seven right there. Just this plus this. And then uh, Tang Grisner, uh this one summons two tokens. Throw a battle special summon two tokens that are level three, so... You summon this, it dies, get two tokens, summon this next turn, and sing. There it is, there's Thor. Uh, three Valkyrie. Valkyrie is really good in here. Uh, uh, when this card is normal summon, your opponent controls a monster you don't. So your opponent goes first, they summon a monster. You go second, have no monsters, summon this. Uh, banish two Nordic monsters in your hand. There's plenty of Nordic monsters to resolve this effect. And go ahead and give yourself two level four tokens. This is level two tuner, synchro summon right into Odin. So uh, really simple to pull it off that way. Uh, really, she's the only way I can really bust out Odin, but she's the best engine within herself. There, uh, as you can see, I'm not running the uh, one tuner that can make itself. Uh, it could be the replacement for any of the other tuner monsters, because all these specific tuners. This has to be the Ascendant, which is her. This has to be a Nordic Beast, which is the horse. And this has to be an Alfar, which is uh, this uh, guy right here. Uh, like I said, there's a Nordic one that's a level 4. It's like, hey, I can... 
uh, go ahead and replace um, a Nordic tuner, but all the other materials have to be Nordics, which means that her being level 4, you have to have uh, pretty much these two. Like, you can't do this. It has to be these two, because it has to be Nordic monsters, which kind of sucks and is the reason why I kind of deterred from her. I was like, and I don't like the fact that it has to be Nordic monsters, so, and, you know, Nordic monsters on the field why you? Because this, it's also Nordic monsters, but this also has a special benefit. This card is used as a material. The other two synchro materials are two Nordic monsters in your hand, and that is uh, pretty good. So you can just go ahead and summon him, and then sync him with the two uh, non-tuner Nordic monsters in your hand to summon out Loki. So uh, that's a possibility as well. Uh, and you're probably wondering, like, I believe I actually got a, a, a comment asking why I'm running uh, Tier, and Tier is kind of like a really shitty Nordic. Uh, it's really just for Mara here. Uh, the other two Nordic monsters in my hand are my materials, therefore, this is the tuner, I need two non-tuners, you know, two or more non-tuner monsters, which means, uh, two plus four plus four non-tuner monsters that are level four, we got, uh, this guy, who, uh, when he's normal summon, you can select one face-up monster you control, except this, which is someone one Nordic monster, whose level is less than or equal to the level selected, meh, who cares, or him. Uh, there's a there's a there's a Nordic beast that's level four, but he's also kind of crappy. It's kind of like this is kind of meh, this is kind of meh, and the beast is kind of meh. But this is what you have to work with when you want to do it. So pretty much, uh, with the searching of this, you get uh, this set up. Either two of these, two of these, one of these. Summon this synchro summon this card and the two uh, non-tuner level fours in your hand because you can't use this. This is a tuner. You need two uh, non-tuner level fours, and there's only four Nordic monsters that are non-tuner level 4. It's, it's really dumb. Like, I wish they would have got a lot more monsters. A lot of that high-level Acer shit. I'm like, why? Like, I, I kind of wish they would have got more non-tuner and tuner shit, because they're just so situational. Uh, and that's how you make Loki. So, you can make Thor, you can make Odin, you can make Loki. Toon Twitch just pop that back row, clear it up. So, when I bust out my synchro plays there, and then my, uh, Searcher trap card. Why is Searcher trap card and spell spell card? Because it's, I don't know, because I'm just like, fuck it. There should be a trap card. Like, uh, at least you can maybe bait out your opponent, set it, and then they try to MST or Twin Twister, and you'll be like, ah, chain, aha, I get the search, and you just kind of wasted your card. Anyway, uh, extra that, two Odin, two Thor, two Loki, I wanted to make sure that I summon them, and if I can summon another one, summon them. Uh, like I said, the, the, just the deck is to make uh, these gods, and I made them, and they put in that work at times. Uh, then, not a god, but still a sync 10 that I can go into, we got uh, Leo. Can't be targeted except during your main phase two. Not a lot of people are running Capulse, so that's pretty much power. It's anyone beater that can't be targeted, essentially. It's nice. Uh, Star Eater, if you can make it. Like, I don't think I've made it in the entire week, but I believe that this can, this deck can sink into 11, if not 10, so, uh, sure. Uh, then, Ignis Because, of course, you have a level four tuner and some non-tuner pendulum monster, so Ignis I've actually done it once, and, uh, I don't believe I've won that duel, but I could have done it, and Scar right. You know, let's go. Omega, I was just like, fuck it, I can't think of another Sync 8. And I was like, when in doubt, just go for Omega. He's a nice generic Sync 8 that can fight on his own, so. Then some Sync 7, some Black Rose, in case I need to wipe the field. Some Crystal Wing Sync, I mean, some Clear Wing Synchro Dragons, just in case I need to go for that play. Uh, Cast out some Sync 8 plays if I ever do it, and then do other, uh, another, I mean, Sync 8, hello? Uh, <laughs> rank 4 plays, cast out if I ever do it, and then Dweller in case I do it, which actually helped me win a duel against a, uh, a Cosmo player in Daily Duel, so yep, Dweller put in that work. So, uh, yeah, there it is. If anything, uh, I have regrets for this deck. I kind of wish that the deck wasn't so full that I could possibly run some more back row. Like, this deck seems like, especially with a lot of cards at 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 you know, a ton of cards at 3, this deck seems like a potential candidate for, uh, doing the increased amount and then just playing Pot of Cupidity, you know? Because it doesn't matter if you're running multiple copies, since you're running multiples of three, you can always get some of these cards, draw deeper into your deck, draw two, and then be able to run a deep, uh, a thicker deck, possibly run some back rows, some sound strikes, warning, and all that great stuff. So if, that was, if I was going to change anything about this deck, I would probably increase the deck count and then do the OCG Pot of Cupidity and try it out with this deck. Because there's so many targets at three, and there's not too many, uh, you know, besides these cards that are at one that are, you know, and they're not even that vital to get. If I get them, that's nice. If I don't, then it's fine. I still got plays. 
so running decks that are flexible and run a lot of cards at three with multiple copies, you're able to do pot of cupidity. So uh, I would definitely, if I had like another week or another episode or another month, I would probably try that out. Probably like a, a 50 card deck with pot of cupidity, some back row and all that. Because it's nice that I can go ahead and bust out, you know, these gods, but they can easily cast out away. So it'd be nice to have the gods backed up with some back row as well. But as you clearly see, the deck is very, very tight at 40. It's definitely a deck that can go above 40 in there for it. You know, time for some pot of cupidity. It's weird thing to say that a deck that can go over 40, but now since pot of cupidity is around, I mean, that's a thing that can actually be debated on. So, uh, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that Nordics run Daily Duels. If you haven't checked it out already, uh, the deck that will be replacing it on Mondays, uh, Cyber Angels, is already up. And that deck is running uh, more than 40 cards and doing the pot of cupidity plays because it's a lot of combo based, a lot of cards at three, same uh, premise. So, uh, be sure to check that out as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that Norris was on here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another deck profile and new deck replacing it. All right, people. Thanks for watching.